Hey guys, what's up? It's Princess C over at princessshop.com and today you are tuning in to Vlogmas Day 2. <music> simple we don't got that much going on today we're gonna be chilling and hanging out around the house i'm gonna be cleaning up cooking me some dinner and um just chilling um i am going to show you guys in this vlog how to create your own um instagram christmas edition flyers christmas edition um i do have a disclaimer i have never taken a gra graphics class before i've never taken a graphic design class i've never i just learned stuff on my own and i learned stuff by watching other youtube videos so I'm going to show you guys how to um, make some basic, basic, it's not going to be all fancy, but some basic little flyers to post on your page um, for your business. So you can, you know, promote if you're having a sale, if you're doing a giveaway, um, whatever it is that you want to announce, some cute little flyers to do that. So if you want to see that, stay tuned in this vlog, don't skip through, and we're about to just chill and hang out around the house, okay? All right. So you know I can't get into this vlog without making me some coffee. So I'm going to bring some coffee and then um, I'm about to just do some other stuff around the house and then I'll come back on here with you guys, okay? Okay, I'll show you guys how I make my coffee dough. The top is from five and below, the bottom is from five and below. The top is a large and the bottom is an extra large. Okay, so I went and got some of this, um, some more of this because obviously the tree needs it. So I'm about to put that around a tree. Right, let me zoom in so I just put this on the tree so we got some more of that red stuff because yesterday um it wasn't enough it was just the top part and then you guys know that they didn't have my stuff in, so I had to put a P right there okay so that's the that and I'm about to light the candle Fonto first. So I'm gonna use Fonto. I'm gonna use Pick Arts, and then I might use Canva if we have time tonight. If not, then I'll use Cam. I'll do a whole separate video on working with Canva. Like I said, disclaimer: I am not a graphic designer. <sighs> I'm not a graphic designer. I literally just do whatever I feel like looks cute, and I just try to get my message across. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and close out all these apps out of my phone. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out all of the apps I got on my phone. All right, I'm gonna hit use and save. You can save that white box right there. You wanna tap anywhere on there, hit add text, and then we are going to use, let's see, what's a good font? I wanna use the font Chickle Regular. And I'm gonna put Merry Christmas. Let's put Merry Christmas. All right, hit done. Now we're gonna go and hit um, back into style. Well, we're gonna go to style. We're gonna make the, let's see. We're gonna make the font, we're gonna make the words red, or we're gonna make the, no. We're gonna make the words white, but make the stroke red, okay? Let's do a red stroke like that. All right. If that doesn't really stick out to me. It's not really what I want, but we're just, I'm showing you for the sake of the video. 
All right, so I'm gonna hit Merry Christmas. You can also curve it, like if you wanna curve it like that. Hey, you can do like Merry Christmas like that. Um, and again, this is simple stuff. Like this is just for, you know, like beginners, for your business, you wanna get your message across real quick. You about to have a giveaway. You about to do uh, announcement. Like just if you wanna get your message across on your business page, make, you know, make something really cute. You about to do a sale, whatever. This is for that type of stuff. Um, I'm not a graphic designer, like I said. This is just what I do. I do whatever looks cute to me, whatever. You know, that's what I do. So, yeah. All right, so let's hit add text, and we're going to put, um, let's do 50% off. So, we're going to hit 50, and let's put the percent sign. But we're going to change the font. Um, changing the font kind of brings it out a little bit more to me. Um, it doesn't look so uniform. It just makes it look funky and makes Whatever your mess, whatever your message is, that needs to be um, a highlight in a bag, not a highlight, but a shadow in a bag, and the font needs to be changed so that you can make it look, you know, a little funky or whatever. So I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use Charter Black Italic, 50%. I'm gonna bring that up, and instead, let's see how it looks if we do red text with a white stroke. I don't think the stroke will show. Yeah, the stroke's not going to show in the back because of the, what you call it. So, we have to do white text with a red stroke. And then, let's make it more bold. Alright? So, that's more bold. So, now that stands out. You can also make it um, you can zoom in. Like, you know, make the size in big. Like that. Excuse me. You can make the size in big like that. And then, Let's go ahead and to spice it up some more, let's hit style and we're going to go to style at the top and then we're going to put a shadow in the back. Well, this is more so the back, this is more so to the side, like you can see if you move it, that's up, down, left, right, stuff like that, you can move it. Um, I think I want to do it in the back, but a little more up to pop out and then I'm going to change the shadow background to maybe like red or something to make it like glow. Yeah, that one, all right? So now the 50% just sticks out a whole lot more. So that'll catch somebody eye. I'm like, ooh, wait, what's 50%, you know? So you wanna, like I said, you wanna make the the message stand out. Like if it's 50% off, the price, um, if you're about to do a giveaway, like whatever your message is, make it stand out to, you know, get people attention. All right, so when creating a flyer, you do want to put in some basic information, like you want to put some dates, you want to put uh, for how long, you want to put if it's like select items. So what I do is I make the font for whatever the like important information is, I make the font really not so bold. Like, you know, I just make it a little simple or whatever like that. So for the font for our little disclaimers, we're going to use Sickle Fina. And then we're going to say, um, select items. I'm going to put select items. I do notice that I, I forgot to put the 50% off because I'm talking so much. So um, let's just fix this. We want to make select items small. Okay. Select items. We'll make that small. That can happen, y'all, what I just did, so. Um, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, so. Select items, um, no code needed, no code needed. All right, select items, no code needed. And make it a little bit smaller, why is it that seventy? All right, and then we can make that red. So let's hit style and we can just make it like red, like that. All right, so that's red. Now we need to make space, we need to go and put off. So the font that we use for the, the font that we use for um, the percent, we're gonna use the same one. So we're gonna use Charter Black Italic and we're just gonna put off. And then we just have to put our, our stroke, but let's just make it bigger. And then let's put, uh, let's change up 
what it says. So the text is white, the stroke is going to be red and make it a little thick. Uh, I think that red is off. Which red did I use? Is it that red? Oh, damn. Is it this red or this red or that red? I think it's this red. It's a little too thick. But why that one looks so off? All right, let me just add the. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so 50% off, and let's highlight off as well. Um, I don't know why I keep saying highlight. That's called um, like a background or shadow or something like that. So I'm gonna make the shadow red. This red right here. All right, so now we have our 50% off and we have select items, no code needed right there. And then at the bottom, you want to go ahead and put your website information. So you want to put www.loveprincessshop.com. All right, so loveprincessshop.com. My website name is a little bit long, so I like to put that at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put this one in. I'm gonna put, do the same way for this one. I think I want to do. Let's see how it looks with just red text right there. All right. Let's see how it looks with a stroke of white. Well, we can't do that. So we gotta do white text and then red stroke and then not so bold. Mm, maybe if we change the font. No, that's not giving off Christmas. That's too fun. Um, no, that's too bougie, I think. That one. Mm. No, I don't like that. And this is literally what I go through. I go through the front to be like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. Um, so I like this, the me, but yeah, I like that. I'm gonna put my website right there. And then you can also do like a banner. So you can hit over here and do add items. And then you can do, not a banner, but um, a board, a border, I think that's called. So let's make the board color red. And let's make the scroll down so it can be a little thin, like thin little. And then let's go back and let's do the sizing like that. Perfect. All right. And then there you guys have it. Okay. So there you guys have it. A really cute, we just saved it. So there you guys have it. Really simple and cute. Merry Christmas, 50% off. Select items, no code needed. www.loveprincessshop.com. Period. So that was cute. I'm going to save this because I might have to use it one day. So I'm going to save it. All right. What was that? All right. So I just showed you guys how to do that with Fonto. Now.